She's going to come up and get that glorified body before we get out. Is that a lie? Oh, what a day. We're going to meet the Lord up in the air. Yes. And what a time it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thank God that we won't be judged. People that are saved. I'm talking about real saved. I'm not talking about just church people. Because not know anybody going there. Most people, they have a form of God, but deny the power thereof. You have to come to the reality that God lives in you. And I have to let him have his life, his weight in my life. Mm -hmm. I have to, what I was made to do is to give him glory. Mm -hmm. That's what man was created to, to give God glory. So look in the mirror when you go home and say, do God live in me? In fact, you could have a conversation in your head right now. Mm -hmm. Really, do God live in me? Mm -hmm. Is he in my spirit? Do I know this person as my personal savior? Do I just go to church and I never have no, 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 no uh, presence that he's there, no reality that he's there? I know him in a form. But do I truly have a relationship with him? Most people, I believe, they want a relationship with God. Because they need to know and hear the truth. Not hype, you need to know what the Bible says. Because that's what we go by, is the Bible. It's not what you think, it's what the Bible says. Right. Glory to God. I try to live my life according to the word. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I'm striving to perfection. Yes. Right. I know it's boring to you, but I'm going to get my name while I can. Right. And the Holy Ghost will deal with you. Mm -hmm. He'll convict you of sin, righteousness, and judgment. He will. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. This ain't no play thing. When you get to this point, if you haven't made the proper decision of the proper of, this, uh, of giving your heart to the Lord, it's going to be bad. Eternity is bad. It's awful. You don't want to have nothing to do with an eternal hell. You don't want nothing to do, but you want to have something to do with eternal life. Whoa, yeah. oh, God, Sister Belinda is in eternal life now. Yeah. She is in the presence of the Lord. And so 2 Corinthians uh, 6, 16 says, And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. So you have to be the temple of God while you're here. And you have to be born again to become that temple. God lives in me. He lived in Sister Belinda. He says, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. I'm a people of God. What about you? Amen. Do you have God's spirit in your spirit? Amen. Before you leave this service, you can if you don't. Because if you pray a sincere prayer from your heart, mm -hmm. Jesus will come in your heart and save your wretched soul. Yes, he, will. he will change your heart. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Our spirit has to be changed. Because it's sinful. It does sinful things. Unless we get a heart change, we will continue to do the same sinful things. And then one day we will die and go to our eternal burning again. It is true. Don't let somebody tell you that that Bible is over the top. It's enough in it to get you to heaven. If you take heed to it. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, listen to me now. I'm about to close. I know it's boring, but it's good anyhow. I'm glad some preacher told me about it one day. He says, verse 17, he says, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separated, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. and touch not the unclean thing. People definitely don't want to talk about that. You got folks in the church that are touching unclean things. 
And we don't want, we need to separate ourselves. That's what a Christian is about, being separate. We go and talk to the seven. We love them. We love people.